Hi everyone, Lynette here with a tech tip on this fabulous Friday. Anybody who knows me knows that I love a good keyboard shortcut. The home and N keys aren't technically shortcuts, they exist as their own key on non-Mac keyboards, but they can save you a huge amount of time in word processing, using spreadsheets, browsing the web, or using your file explorer. They are essentially jump keys, so they jump to the beginning or the end of whatever you're in. Tricky, huh? So in a browser, the home key will jump to the start of the web page and the end key will jump to the end of the web page, no matter how much scrolling would normally be required with a mouse. In a Word document, hitting the home or end key will jump to the beginning or the end of the line that your cursor is currently in. But if you add control to the mix and you hit control home or control end, it will jump to the start or end of the document, no matter how many pages there are. In Excel, Home will return you to column A of whatever row your cursor is currently in. Hitting Control Home will take you to cell A1. Hitting End in Excel is a little bit different because it will take you to whatever the last valid value is within the spreadsheet. So if you're only using 12 columns and 12 rows, it will take you to that last cell of the 12th column and the 12th row. Um, and then I'm going to give you another tip in a couple of weeks' time that will tell you how to select all of that using your home key. Now, in Outlook, uh, a tap of the end key will either take you to the last folder, the, the inbox, or the individual message, depending on where you are, and home will take you to the top. Uh, and if you are like these shortcuts but you're a Mac user, you can actually use function left arrow and function right arrow to uh, get a similar effect. So that's my tech tip on home and end keys. I have been using them with gusto ever since I found out what they did. If you like this tip, you might like others that I share on my YouTube channel. So you can go there and subscribe or go to my website, kitsandbits.com.au and sign up to my email newsletter. Okay, thanks. See ya.